Hello everyone, my name is Rufaida Hassan and my presentation is on habit and habitat of trilobites. First of all, we have to know what is trilobite. It constitutes an extinct group of Paleozoic arthropods and we can easily recognize them by distinctive three lobes and three segmented form. And trilobites are usually 50 to 75 mm in length, but there are some trilobites which were tiny and some are giants and their length was more than half of a meter. Trilobites appeared on Earth at the beginning of Cambrian period about 542 million years ago and they dominate the, among invertebrates. The late Ordovician they replaced by the cephalopods and they totally extinct in Paleozoic era. And as I mentioned before that, trilobites got extinct and so we hardly know about the habitant habitats. But by observation of their faunal associates and methods of burial and preservation, different exoskeleton structure, we got some information about the habit and habitats. They used to eat sponges, protozoans, brachiopods, mollusks, etc. Some trilobites were scavengers. They cleaning up organic debris. Trilobite was served as food for other animals. Among possible enemies, uh, there were cephalopods, early sharks, etc. And it's a coincidence that they remarkably declined in the late Silurian and in the Devonian when the shark and other species were evolved. Now how they protect themselves. Some investigators say that they have no exoskeleton but to protect themselves they develop their exoskeleton. They also burrow themselves into sediments to protect themselves from predators and after the Cambrian period they started to rolling up. And we know that some species of trilobites had complex eyes and they used them to hunt and navigate and when they were almost extinct, they went to the deep sea because there were no light. That's why their eyes were useless and they got extinct. Then we have no evidence to know about the reproduction of trilobites. But researchers believe that they produce eggs and the egg was hatched into a larva form. Then they underwent stages of growth before reaching the adult form. Trilobite lived in a wide number of distinct habitats. Some lived pelagic, some trilobite lived in a wide number of distinct habitats. Some lived pelagic lives and some lived in somewhere in shallow regions or intertidal zones. After the Ordovician, they went to the deep sea. Trilobite molded periodically as a consequence of molting exoskeleton greatly outnumbered. That's why we face difficulties to understand the actual exoskeleton. That's all for today. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching. If this video seems helpful to you, please like, comment and subscribe.